I'm Trisha Wiles, and I am the artist behind Body and Soul. I figured I would start the Art Explained video series where I explain the stories behind each piece of art with this one uh, because it just sold and the art collector who purchased it is coming this afternoon to pick it up. So I will not have this painting for much longer, so might as well make the best use of time that we have. Um, I love this painting, and originally it was not for sale. Um, but, so first of all, let me explain why I'm doing these paintings, where I explain the story behind the painting. Years ago, I used to write and perform poetry at open mic events. And at one night at an open mic event at Bway Coffee Shop in Hoboken, New Jersey, a poet got up to the mic and she shared this beautiful story of being on this wooden boardwalk down in South America with this man she'd met a few years prior. She had a little bit of a buzz and it was like, you know, you, you felt transported like you were there. And then she recited the poem which resulted from that experience. And it introduced to me a completely different understanding of art and how the experience of sharing art can be even richer because not only did she transport us with the story itself and then she shared this beautiful finished piece which was the poem but she gave us a third experience which was a glimpse at the creative process that she underwent between having the experience and translating the experience into into what it was, which was this finished piece, this poem. So you saw the parallels and you got to see why she phrased things certain ways and it was really, really a cool glimpse into how her mind worked behind the piece that she was sharing. And it gave me as an audience member such a deeper appreciation for the poem that I was that I was hearing, you know, up until then, I, when I would perform my poetry, I would get up, I'd recite the poem, you know, recite the next one, recite the next one, and they were good standalone, you know, finished pieces, but not gonna lie, totally ripped off her method, and from then on, when she gave me this experience, I started sharing the story behind the poem before I would share the poem itself. And I felt as if I was giving the audience a richer experience for it because I know that she had given me such a richer experience when she did that. And as somebody sharing the art, it's, it's nice, you know, to give somebody a more well-rounded, fuller picture of what led up to this finished piece the moment I put my signature on it and called it finished. Um, and so that's what I'm going to talk about here today with Body and Soul. There's three layers to this painting. The first is these strong black circular brush strokes uh, that you see here. And it's, it's odd because it actually started as a different painting. I originally started those black brush strokes as a painting that I was going to do on the topic of debt. Uh, and, you know, the, the idea wasn't really fully realized and I was running out of canvases to work on. I didn't have a whole lot of money at the time to be purchasing art supplies. And so I figured, you know what, I wanted it to be this thing, but I need it to be something else. So I'm going to table the original idea for this and maybe come back to it at a later date. But I need this canvas to start working on another painting. So, layer two, um, I wanted to experiment more with color. And I thought originally that the color would totally cover up the black brush strokes underneath. It didn't really work that way, but I'm happy it didn't because I love that the black is peeking through all these other, these other two top layers. So the second layer is about colors. And I don't know about you, but I'm one of these people where if it's not black, I rarely, if ever, wear it. Um, this is more like me experimenting with colors, but usually I'm dressing in black. And so I wanted to do something with colors where I really experiment boldly with combining colors that I wouldn't normally like up here with like a forest green, a bright citrusy yellow and a peach color, you know, and then up here with darker colors and a metallic gold and down here with, you know, orange and blue complementary colors punctuated with some yellow and some green. And so really doing a full a full exploration of different types of colors and different brush strokes with colors. And that is the soul piece of this painting. So it's body and soul. And the color layer is the soul. And there's so many different color combinations on here and so many different brush strokes and patterns and contrasting. 
that it really is symbolic of the different experiences that each of us go through that creates the soul of all of us. You know, the, the sense of humor, the emotions, both good and bad, the experiences, both joyful and horrifying. Um, all of these things that are all kind of different, but they lead to this colorful, beautiful layer. And I would say the star layer of this painting. Um, and that is, the, that is the colorful layer. The top layer, which is the white paint, like I said, I didn't have a ton of money to be investing in art supplies. Uh, and so this top layer came about because I was reading a magazine and I got some little like promotional card out of the magazine, which was one free pint or quart of outdoor exterior patio furniture paint from Ace Hardware. Um, and so I didn't have a patio at the time and I figured, well, I can't paint any lawn chairs here, but I can use the paint. So let me go there and buy this paint or get it because it's free. Uh, so <laughs> didn't buy it, but um, I got this like sample pint of this outdoor paint. And so one thing that my mom always taught me, my mom is a retired art teacher. And one thing she always taught me was that white punctuates and highlights color in anything. You know, I once went to her with a colored pencil drawing that I had made, and it was so colorful, so many different shapes in every different color, and there was no white space except for a little corner on the paper that I hadn't yet colored in, but that I fully intended to. And she said, oh my gosh, I love this. I love this drawing. And I was like, oh, you know, thanks. Well, it's not done yet. I still need to color this in. And she goes, oh. Well, I thought that that was part of it because, Trisha, white actually can accentuate the colors. And if it's all colors all the time, you're kind of blinded by, blinded by the colors in a way where the colors lose their potency if it's all colors. You know, it's almost like if you have too much salt in your diet and then afterwards you go to eat an apple and there's no salt, there's no flavor, you lose the ability to appreciate the finer aspects of something when it's really in your face and an extreme version of it. And so I left that part of the paint or that part of the uh, colored pencil drawing, I left it white. And I see what she meant now, where white punctuates color. And so in this painting, I used white over top of the color to highlight and contrast it. In the painting behind us, you can see that I used the canvas itself as the white to do that. But we'll get to that one. Let's focus on this one. So here, I started experimenting with these big, bold brush strokes in the white. And invariably, you know, some of the, the color from underneath got smeared in it, and I loved that. Um, but something I didn't foresee happening when I was experimenting with the brush strokes and the textures and the placement and what peeked through, because I wanted the colors to peek through, but I wanted it to be the most beautiful combination of colors. So if there was one that I didn't really like, I was like, you know what, let's get experimental and do a big, bold brush stroke over top of it. Uh, one thing I didn't foresee happening with this outdoor exterior paint was that it would actually start cracking. And so if you come up close to this painting, you'll see that this top white layer is full of little cracks, which makes the paint look old and worn. <coughs> Excuse me. And maybe that's because I didn't paint a deck chair with it or a flower bed or whatever. I used it on a canvas and like, I don't know if that did something to it, but it started cracking. And the white layer of this painting symbolizes the body of all of us, which wears and which wrinkles and which, you know, looks a little different after a few years than what it used to. And you didn't really expect it, when, like, despite the warnings, you didn't see it coming. Um, and so that's the white layer of this. And for me, why I love this and why I named it Body and Soul is because like my mom taught me about contrast, is you know, some of these wrinkles and the, you know, the changes in the exterior can actually highlight that which is within us and bring it out even more. You know, for me, I think it's tremendously sad when I see an angry, mean old person because it's like, ugh, you know, like, eh, you know, <laughs> it's sad. Um, but when you see a really kind, loving, old person, you know, like the videos on Facebook where you see the old couple dancing and they're grinning and they love each other so much, um, or they're joking around with each other, like that is, that's the good stuff, that's the beauty, that's the contrast, you know, where like you're introduced to a deeper layer of beauty because the superficial surface layer has been 
muted or removed or has been changed and altered in a way that you didn't expect um, and that isn't beautiful by traditional standards. You know, initially I looked at these cracks and said, oh my God, like my painting's cracking, it's losing its value. And then, and then it's like, no, it adds a deeper value because there's a deeper meaning behind it. Um, and so when I look at this painting, I think of the journey that all of us make uh, between this negotiation between the exterior and the interior and I see that the beauty is is the soul you know it's it's being of service to other people it's making people laugh it's not taking yourself too seriously it's being selfless you know doing things that we don't want to do because it would benefit somebody else instead of it benefiting ourselves you know these are the color the color patterns that I see punctuated and, and highlighted through the white. Um, and I think that those colors grow richer over time and that the that beauty within us, which is the love and the service and you know the honesty and the humor, uh, I hope also becomes more saturated over time because it's like ultimately through the years we have more experiences, both good and bad, both joyful and horrifying, that, you know, lends itself for a richer symphony of, of that which makes up our souls. And so, you know, when I look at this painting, I'm reminded of the fact that hopefully we all continue to just get more and more beautiful as we age, uh, despite what the exterior might be doing that we didn't really foresee. <laughs> um, and that in, in that way, you know, like my mom taught me the white emphasizing the color you know, the scars and the wrinkles and, you know, limitations physically that, that happen to us as we age, uh, let it emphasize that color and the creativity and the magic and the art and the soul beneath. Um, you know, I think, I think anything can be a person's art if you love doing it and you go into it with a, with a certain consciousness uh, where you, you're mindful of what you're bringing to the table and what you're bringing to life that you don't necessarily see represented in this world. And I hope that everybody watching this video finds that in their own life. And I hope that you've enjoyed hearing the story behind Body and Soul. I hope if you haven't found your art form yet, whether it's gardening, painting, music, running a business, running a home, whatever it may be, I hope you find your art, which... Uh, gives you one of these joyful experiences which makes your soul all the richer. If you like this video, uh, I hope you'll like it and share it and subscribe to the channel. And if you don't, well, then keep your words to yourself. <laughs> and don't comment on it because it's not very nice. Um, I don't care. You can comment if you want. Um, but, so that is body and soul. And I hope that you've enjoyed learning about it as much as I have enjoyed telling you about it. And uh, I'd like to dedicate this video to that poet, I forget her name, uh, who taught me how to explain stories behind the pieces because it's really made my experience as an artist all the richer. And yeah, thank you so much for watching my video.